What's going on guys? It's Simo and we are back with the legendary Ed Eception. So Ed, what were you playing today? I was playing a uh, Lucker deck. I was playing a uh, true, uh, no, uh, Invoked, Light Sworn, Infernoid. So you almost topped, yeah. unfortunately. You were one win away. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that because you had probably one of the more interesting decks of the day. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people wanted to see that. So what was the philosophy? I know you and I were talking about this, but... Um, I felt like normal Invoked is actually just really good, but its Magician matchup is not amazing. And I wanted to play a deck that just overpowered like every deck in the format like all my infernoids are just bigger and like everything is like super well positioned and I feel like to like win an event I guess you have to play like a deck that is really good but also can get lucky and I think this deck is like like the epitome of that all right well, let's see it uh, so like these are like the cards you, I guess you kind of always have to play uh, well not, I don't play ash by the way because I, I don't think that cards that great um, so these are my hand traps um, so Droll and Maxi, these are like god cards where you win, you win against Spiral and you could potentially win versus Trickstar if you draw Droll to where um, if you uh, resolve it, like the turn just ends. And then Gamma is, is like, I play this over Ash because it does two things, it makes Omega and um, it's like a pro, it's more proactive, right? So like Ash is more defensive, but like this card, it forces your place through other hand traps. So that's why I really, really like it. Uh, and then I play, these are the Bricks, these are Infernoids. I play two Cytimus. <laughs> bricks. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my deck, like, it's literally, I think it's like a Light Sworn Hand Trap deck with like Infernoids. Like, bricks. Yeah, Infernoid <laughs> Bricks, yeah. <laughs> so these are my big Infernoids. Uh, Cytimus is like really good because he's like your way, main way of like clearing boards. Um, Anonku negates, basically you have to play multiples of these even though they're really bad to draw because the engine cards are so powerful. And then once the jet because um, he is there for Void Feast, but I always had him out if I go second. And then these, are guys, like, these guys are like the workhorses of the deck. So um, all these guys like super simplify the game and they just one for one. And because your deck is more powerful, you're just always gonna uh, like go off. And the thing with this deck is that Spiral and Trickstar lose to DD Crow like surprisingly hard. So these cards, just being able to DD Crow on your opponent's turn, like banishing a Quick Fix or banishing a, uh, the one trap card the, uh, in response to the trap card activation, you, you could potentially just end their turn. And then it's like the best part of my deck, <laughs> the Light Sworn <laughs> cards, a uh, really small engine. So basically, um, I want to play cards that when they're milled, they get lucky. So there's another engine I play. Uh, Raiden is just like the best normal summon besides another card I play. And he's he's just good because he lets you make Omega and gets your engine going. And then like a simplified game state, him milling Infernoids is insane. Wolf is really, really broken in this deck because when you grass, you want as many broken cards and like a free 2100 attack monster is really good. And it just lets you swarm an OTK. And then I play one Raikou. This card is really good because it doesn't target. So I, if I charge and I mill a Light Sworn, I have a Light Sworn in my hand, like charge automatically out Sleeper. So this card is really, really, really good. And then I play, I was trying to run it back from Dallas, three <laughs> Alistair. This card is insane because, um, so every time, so when I was making decks, like, I want to play a deck with a one card engine, and this card is always a one card engine, and it has added benefits with Infernoid because it's a level four, and you, I actually got to make like rank fours, and it's really good because um, if you notice, I play like a very small Infernoid engine for a 60 card deck, and this gives you like the late game that you need. And then three auto includes, uh, three snow. Of course. Um, this card is actually surprisingly mediocre versus Spiral. Against Spiral, you use this as more of like a combo card than actually like a defensive card. Obviously against stuff like Magician and um, uh, Trickstar, it's really good. But um, against Spiral, it's just okay. But it's like a necessary evil because you want your mills to be broken. So that's why I play three snow. And then the reason to play the deck. I play infinite starter cards. <laughs> infinite. One, yeah, one for one. Uh, Dumps Decatron, discards Snow, so it's like really good. One uh, broken card. One auto win. Yeah, I've resolved this. This never got Ash, so that that's why I even got close to topping. Um, <laughs> three charge. Um, it's really good. It's it adds redundancy because it just searches Raiden and. Um, 
just milling is like really good in this deck. Three solar recharge because if you draw wolf, it sucks. And basically, if uh, you haven't noticed, like every single one of these cards currently baits out Ash, baits out Droll, and I want to force it out every single time. Uh, then we have the Invoked Engine, two of this, two of this. Uh, I didn't want to play three because I was playing a 60 card deck and I wouldn't be able to draw Gamma that much, so I didn't want to play it. And then it's cool because this is just like a free card for Snow, but also this card is broken because it has a cool interaction with Imagination. Yeah, there we Imagination go. Imagination is like insane. It's like Shadal Fusion. And basically, if you resolve it, you win the game. It does like infinite things. It can break a board. It, it dumps Natis. It gives you all the Infernoids. It's just an insane card. And then this happened uh, twice at the YCS. If I have Magical Meltdown on the field and I avoid Imagination, they cannot Ash because you can't negate the effect to Fusion Summon. Mm -hmm. So it's like super duper good. Yeah. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Also, fun fact, you can make Tierra with uh, Invocation. If you have, if you break and you draw them from hand, and then it lets you at least summon uh, uh, the big Infernoid, mm -hmm. and then you get to break a board because you still dump three in the Tiss. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then with the Void cards, I play Void Imagination, uh, Void Vanishment. This card is insane. It basically says, Ghost Ogre this or Ash this, and if you don't, you lose. So it's like really <laughs> good. So like, all these cards are just starter cards. Um, three of what I think is actually just the best card in the deck. Like, Grass is so pivotal to the strategy of it, like, it resolving. Like, that's how you get free wins. So this is just more copies of Grass. But also it has the added benefit of late game. It just searches Invocation. Like, you don't need, if you mill Alistair, it, it's fine. If you search Invocation, you get to go off. And it, it's just really good. And you play so many cards that bait out Ash. And you, yeah, because you play so many bombs. Yeah, it's yeah. like they have to Ash something, and then you just left arm and win. And left arm and win, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then three desires. I feel like I will always play this card. I think this card is nuts, and everyone should play it. And especially in a 60 card deck, like I, I can desires all the time. And then one void feast. Uh, I I went first. I went first whenever I chose. Whenever I got the option to, and Void Feast is really good. I wish I played two. I don't know what I would cut, but Void Feast is actually just like insane. Yeah, and that was the main deck. Uh, do you want extra stuff? Yeah, whichever. Okay, so uh, here is my extra deck. So I play Link Monsters. These guys have added benefit because um, before with Infernoid, you had a huge problem of being your board just clogging up, but because I have so many normal summons like Alistair and it's like a repeatable normal summon, I can turn it into Proxy Dragon or like uh, Deco Talker and it gives me the option to uh, like reduce the amount of levels so I can clear my board and summon it again. And then Akashic is here for two reasons. One, you can make it with the Infernoids. It points down, so it's really relevant. You can do cool stuff like uh, twice in the tournament, I bounce the wolf back to my hand so I can solo recharge. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Or also I side Kaiju, so you can bounce it. Also, if people just like improperly place cards on the field, you could potentially just auto win by something. Just punish them, yeah. yeah. And like it happened in testing, but didn't happen in actual the tournament. If I have this connected to this it basically lets me mill three so that's like a oh cool that's thing cool yeah do. yeah uh i play one synchro it's one omega i never needed more than one because actually like i've noticed like i don't actually like making this card except for late game early game i want to i want to see as many cards as possible so i uh always made this card instead this is the fake maneuver this is a real one <laughs> it's not a real one this is not even ultra um <laughs> So yeah, it's uh, two Minervas. This is like the linchpin of the deck. Basically, it turns basically it turns uh, any uh, Infernoid and like an Alistair, uh, any of the level fours or like Decatron into a light. And this is like your consistent way of getting a light onto the field. And you have potential auto wins of just milling like uh, Wolf and like stuff like that to just draw more cards. And then I play a really small Invoked Engine. Uh, I didn't feel like I needed the Earth one. I, I, the games went too short. But the Invoked Engine added a late game, uh, but it, there was not enough uh, good Invoked Monsters I wanted to play. I didn't want to play the win one because um, I, I have a built-in uh, like win guy, it's Snow. So this is uh, the best one, it's like God card, it just, me Spiral can't play around it. And then this is uh, basically because I'm playing Fire cards. And also like, this like messes up Scapegoat. And before in the old Invoked deck, like, you could never bait out scapegoat because your deck did nothing, but now um, you can like pop it, and if they chain it, and then you summon you, that, you, you win. win. Yeah. yeah. Um, three Natis. Uh, you 
you technically can't summon it if I have invocation and X, Y, Z. Did and you ever summon one. it that way? No, I've never summoned it. That's actually like a broken effect. It's like special summon something from a graveyard. Yeah. But you use it because you dump it with uh, yeah. Tierra. And Tierra is like super god. Like basically he just mills three from your deck, three from extra deck. So he always pops three cards. Yep. Whenever Nintis goes to the graveyard, pops a card. And then you could just mill. And the cool thing is with uh, Alistair and more normal summons, you can link to get rid of this. And so, it's fucking huge. Yeah. <laughs> I won. I won because uh, I summed it and just attacked over in time one time. Yeah. And then here is my side deck. It's pretty simple. I play three kaijus, uh, three different ones, just in case the odd fact of me drawing multiples. Uh, this is the only one that truly mattered. I needed to play because it was a fire. fire. Uh, the rest is just like whatever. You can synchro with this into Omega because level 7, and this is just the smallest kaiju. The most important thing is both of these cards can get attacked over Saitamus. Yeah. Uh, three Twin Twister. Basically, going second, I always want Twin Twister. It baits out, it, uh, baits out like uh, the Trigate Wizard, and Basically, all you have to do to win with this deck is simplify the game, and when you simplify the game, your Infernoids are just better monsters than every other card, and you're gonna win. Uh, board wipes. So these probably should have went with uh, the Kaijus. I should show them together, because basically all five of these cards going against Magician going second, because this deck cannot beat Baguska reliably. Mm -hmm. So I, I wanted as many outs as Baguska as possible, but then this card's good against like any rogue deck, so it's like really strong. Uh, one Lila because Lila is a good card to search off charge and it's good against every rogue deck. Anytime Raikou sucks against a deck, I, I'd play Lila. Uh, three evenly matched. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's really good. I, I like playing decks that don't get evenly matched uh, well, and I like playing decks that can use it effectively. And I think Infernoid like always has an empty board, so evenly matched is like really strong. Like you can do, you can do cool stuff like I summon a snow to stop me from dying, and it, it, it like kind of like masks my evenly matched. Mm -hmm. So when they kill my snow, they they're like okay, so end of battle phase, and then like okay, I don't have a snow anymore, I have nothing, but I still save my life points, evenly match you, and like this is really strong. And three unending nightmare. This card is broken against Pendulum because it's my worst matchup. But also going first against uh, Spiral. This card is amazing because as long as you have one negate, and my deck is like all full of cards that negate. As long as you have one negate, then Spiral cannot do anything because you have a way to stop every uh, continuation card like um, Resort. Resort and Big Red. Yeah. So this card's like really really strong. Mm -hmm. Cool. So any final thoughts? Uh, I really wish I could top. Uh, I got really, really unlucky against my opponent, but it, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, shout outs to everyone to, you know, cheered me on, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well thanks, Ed. I think people are going to enjoy oh, this. Oh, and so. thank you Andy Sang. He, he helped me make this deck. This is, <laughs> it's his baby. Gotta have him. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Ed.